I think a Dark Templar to each base. He's sending it to lower left as well as the natural. And we're going to see... I'm not quite sure what the luxury spotted this yet. There's still a large number of... Four Corsairs, I think, at this point, at the lower left corner. One Dark Temple is going to move towards its lower left. Going to take out two drones before it gets taken out by the Sunken Colonies. So that's not... Well, that is a few drones. you got to kill. You, you kill that you managed to get Luxury to have to replace. And the Luxury, on the other side, getting a high, very early high from him, but only on three bases. He's going to get uh, quick defilers going. Also has a, mut a couple Mutalisks out in the air, so he's going to go for some... Harass me. He has to be very careful though, because there are a lot of Corsairs in the lower, lower upper left-hand corner, which he probably hasn't spotted. High Temple Orson now on the way to Jambi. We're going to see whether he builds those for Storm or upgrade, uh, morphs them into an Archon like he did last game. No, apparently he's going to keep them as at the natural to use for Storms against those Mutalisks. He's also putting down cannons, so he definitely knows the Mutalisks are on the way. We're going to see what Luxury managed to do with this harassment though. Some Duck Templar they're spotting some Mutalisks. I think there's seven or so Mutalisks, but Jambi still keeping the Corsairs at the upper left. And we're going to see what he moves them out as soon as those Mutalisks come in. Mutalisks uh, being micro there, but actually spotted the High Templar. I know he has to be very careful. Now going to micro around. Going to start by uh, killing this Dragoon. And now those Corsairs are going to move towards this Mutalisks. Mutalisks going to be forced to retreat. retreat. So Luxury doing a pretty decent job of splitting those up. And going to engage the Corsairs here. Doing, did a pretty good job of splitting. But now he's going to be forced to run away. Far too many Corsairs to engage. Just splitting up his Mutalisks to prevent the splash damage of those Corsairs. And Jambi doing a perfect trap there against Luxury. Some a couple of Corsairs are going to force the a couple of Corsairs going to force the Corsairs back though. So uh, all in all, a failed attack by those Mutas for Luxury. He lost several Mutas. Just uh, sh couldn't go for the uh, for the natural because of those high Templar there as well as cannons. And now Jambi on the other side adding in more gamers. I think he's going to be have four gamers at this point. Luxury still being very careful on his own side, getting Carapus upgrades, getting a spore colony alongside those sunken colonies, and several drones going to be caught in transition. Oh, almost killed the drones. Miraculously managed to survive with those Carapus upgrades on him. Another hatchery not being added. I think this is finally the fourth hatchery being added by Luxury. He has the. Ha ha Hive up, so he's going to have cracklings up very soon. I haven't seen what kind of hive tech he's going to go for, though. Uh, I haven't seen over a lot of Corsairs flying in the air by Jongvi. So he's going to be able to take out anything that comes at him. Scourge instantly get massacred. So he's probably going to go overlord hunting at this point. And I don't see enough for Luxury to really ha counter this. He has spore colonies everywhere, but one spore colony is just not enough against five, six... Seven Corsairs. There's far too many Corsairs. There's a lot of pylons also being added, as well as all robotics facilities. So Johnny B is going to go for drops alongside High Templar drops. If he manages to get a successful High Templar drop off off on Luxury, he's just going to completely cripple his economy because Luxury is still mining only on three bases. And I really think he should think of taking a fourth base. So he has a large number of cracklings which have weapons one as, uh, as well as Carapace one upgrade. Some Scourge instantly get a bit slaughtered there by Corsairs on the other side. Bunch of Dragoons meanwhile for John B. So John B focusing on Dragoons interestingly enough getting seven air score uh, air upgrades. I'm not quite sure whether I think those are actually range upgrades rather than air upgrades. Some Corsairs being caught by some Scourge can be forced away but he, uh, Luxury unfortunately didn't manage to kill anything. Dark Temple running around by Jambi trying to spot out any expansion seeing that Luxury still doesn't have a fourth. Uh, decent mass of Mutalisks also there by uh, on luxury side. Interestingly enough, what's critical here that neither player has done real any economic damage. Uh, Jongbi has killed two drones. That's always that, but not too much economic damage. That's two drones that, of course, luxury had to reproduce, but overall, not too much economic damage done. Observatory being put up on the other side by Jongbi, so he's definitely getting ready just in case lurkers come out. He's moving downwards with a large force of Corsairs in the air, going to take out all the Scourge, going to lose one Corsair, but that's definitely a trade he'll take. Just, of course, that's a lot of gas. Okay, another Corsair getting taken. Also, the Mule is not going to move in with far too many Corsairs. Uh, Luxury trying to move in to snipe the High Templar. Did some damage, but overall just not enough. Far too many Corsairs and Dragoons overall. Bunch of cracklings on the ground, meanwhile, for uh, for Luxury. is very interesting here. He definitely should be getting a Defounder Den. I'm not, I didn't see a Defounder Den yet, but this, uh, a Defounder Den would greatly help him against this large number of Dragoons if he just gets a proper Dark Swarm and... Uh, surrounds him with those cracklings will really be a lot, a lot help. We're going to see whether he actually goes for counter tech or a surround of some sort. Some speed upgraded zealots now also being put up to defend the natural. So we're going to see Luxury might actually take this opportunity while Jambi has his entire army bearing uh, down on zone natural. Actually is going to go for the break. There are nothing but a few zealots and several cans to defend. Probably being pulled off the line. We're going to see whether Luxury ha has enough or not. He's going for the break, trying to kill as many as he can. Meanwhile, on the other side, he has some cracks to defend. Storms everywhere by Jambi though, killing so many of those zerglings. Not enough on the ground and all Luxury 
Bee's attack on John Bee's natural has failed. Meanwhile, he's looking, losing so many forces in his own natural, trying to force John Bee back as far as he can. He has a lot of sunkens to defend, and those cracklings pushing those dragoons back very far, so he's doing a good job of that. Not picking off High Templar as he should be, though. High Templar, of course, become a little. Uh, not too useful until they recharge the storms, but you know, why take the risk? You should kill them before they start storming you a lot. John Beam on the other side is trying to take another base. Some, uh, what I assume to be family members of the players there. Big uh, Ultra Listan also an offer luxury, but I'm not quite sure if he has enough to support this. I think he definitely needs a fourth gas before he thinks of this. He has three gases, that really has helped. There's a mechanic that really helps with Zerg there, but Johnny is not getting his third base up. If that happens, it's going to be a huge double. Luxury needs a third base. He needs it now, not just to support those ultra risks, but also to uh, fight the economy of Johnny B. Moving in with cracklings again, kind of surround those cannons. Nothing but probes to defend. Two cannons go down. I think the third might actually stay. No, the third cannon does go down, and there are a couple of cracklings, though, that do. Do get taken down. Luxury now, while those cannons are still not up, they should try to go for another break. At least move in with a control group of cracklings and attack all those probes that the natural mining for John B manages to stop the mining. It will be in pretty good position. John B did lose quite a few forces of his army, but uh, Luxury lost a lot more. What's helping Luxury here is that he's investing a lot in mostly Zerglings. Stork now being seen, their teammate of John B is here. Having lost to Jungbee in the summer finals now, most likely rooting for him, at least I hope so, or else you're a pretty crappy teammate. So now again, some Zergans going to move into the natural, but there are, I think, enough Zealots and High Templar to defend. They're going to engage some Zealots, they're try to go for surrounds, try to pick off as many as they can to prevent those from going down. It's a lot of Zealots now being produced by Jungbee, so he knows he needs some Zealots alongside those Dragoons, because if Dark Swarm comes into play, it's going to be a little bit of trouble. Now, going to push all those forces there to defend this new base of his at the 10 o'clock position. Still mostly cracklings being produced. I assume Luxury is just uh, keeping his gas. He's using mostly his gas for some scourge and I assume he's collecting some for mass producing ultras. Meanwhile now a shuttle gonna move in for Luxury. We can see the Luxury. Oh, the, oh, the scourge get frozen. No. Gonna see. Oh, the shuttle does go down. So no high temper being popped down. <laughs> by uh, John B. Had two Corsairs there in position to take out those uh, Scourge, but that didn't happen. Dark Templar still running around all over the place, and now Luxury has Ultrisks alongside his Cracklings, and he needs Defilers. That's the only thing he's missing here. Defilers to help him out with Plague, because if you attack with Cracklings and Ultrisks, uh, a plagued units really do a lot of damage. Of course, the purpose of the Ultrisks is more to tank. Uh, the Cracklings are the real damage. Yield. The Ultrisks help, mind you. But Ultrisks are a lot more there to soak up damage from all the forces that attack it so that you can, so that the Cracklings can move around and maneuver and do most of the damage while the Ultrisks take the damage. Because the Ultrisk is one gigantic target and you can't really focus on the crack. it's much more difficult to focus on the Cracklings while the Ultrisks are amongst the Crackling group. Luxury also trying to open up the middle while John B has one more upgrades and finally Luxury now expanding at this 8 o'clock position. Has to be very careful to hold it though. Has a rather large mass, has quite a few Ultrisks, and on the other side, Jangbi also has a lot of Zealots with weapons, two upgrades now, and some Dragoons, some Archons, and a High Templar to support. So I think Jangbi at this point has a slightly better army. Uh, two, two upgrades for Luxury, and I assume that he has the armor upgrade for those Ultras, so that's definitely going to happen. I'm going to see what he tries to go for a surround.